Hey folks, it's Friday, November 29th, about uh, 11.10 Mountain Time, 2013. Fire in the Sky News here at the American Meteor Society. It looks like the uh, meteor storm, whatever you want to call it, um, is still well underway. We've got 104 reports coast to coast, literally in almost every state um, across the United States. Got reports from multiples from Canada and France. So it's a worldwide event. Um, the data, what little data we get here, this is probably 1% of what's actually being seen um, worldwide. Um, major events, um, just a quick look at those. We had two on the 23rd, one on the 24th, one on the 25th, one on the 27th. Um, from the looks of the reports coming in today, um, there's probably going to be more. Um, these things are coming in at a furious pace. And if you look at some of the, des the descriptions, um, people are just stunned at what they're seeing. They're big, um, um, biggest thing they've ever seen. And again, the, this, this list right here is the current list, and it is three pages long. Um, goes from today, the 28th, and, and part of the 27th. People are seeing stuff that looks like it's uh, melting, falling off of these objects. Um, one little girl was riding in a car with her mom, and she looked up and, and told her mom, said, look, there's fire in the sky. Um, and again, um, just like I showed you on the map, this is all across the United States. People are seeing fireballs. In some cases, multiple fireballs. This one here looked astonishingly close to Earth. Biggest thing I've ever seen in the sky. Um, we're definitely in some sort of debris field. I don't know if it's associated with Comet Ison. I do know we're going to be going through Comet Ison's debris field in uh, a little over a month. So that should be very interesting. Um, something's causing this, guys. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm a firm believer in the uh, dual sun theory. I do believe that um, our solar system, and probably all, but, you know, I, I have no way of proving that. I believe we have dual suns. There's, there's just too much evidence that supports that. Um, I've done a lot of research on this over the years. Um, I didn't just come up with this theory overnight, and it's not a new theory. There's a lot of people that believe in that, too. But something is causing this. Um, something's causing this, you know, crazy-looking comet that just zipped by. Comet Ison. You know, look at that thing. What kind of comet was that? Was that even a comet? I mean, if we go back to, here it is on Soho, if we go back to the Hubble images that they gave us, you know, what was it, back in May or April or something like that, it was like a triangle right there. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I'm just saying, look at it, absolutely not. I'm just saying that it could be. We've got a lot of comets coming in, something is causing that. We've got a lot of uh, debris hitting Earth, and I'm sure it's hitting um, the other planets, too, not just Earth. All the planets are feeling it. I think it's responsible for climate change. Absolutely, 100%. That's what I believe is the culprit, and that's the, the dual sun. And when they dance in the cosmos, and, and you know, if the orbit is, say, 24, 26,000 years, um, they're magnetically connected, things are going to change. They may change for, you know, a hundred years, a thousand years, five hundred years. I, I have no idea. None. But things are definitely going to change if they're magnetically connected. Because all of their, and I say, because it's probably got parent, uh, it's a parent star too. It's probably got planets just like we do. You know, they're, they're all mag magnetically connected and you know probably produces an electromagnetic wave that comes through the solar systems and they exchange that energy things change planets see an increase in fireballs and meteors and asteroids see a big increase in comets um, and here's proof right here you know I mean 
That's one hell of a comet. And if you look at the SDO images of the perihelion, you can't even see it on there. Pulled a Harry Houdini. Went right in front of the instruments and they didn't even see it. I looked at it for a long time. Couldn't find it. So, I don't know, guys, but that's the direction that I, I'm, I've been on for a long time, but just thought I'd share that with you tonight. But again... The first 2013. Displacing more than 50 families in a week. Sinkholes have swallowed several houses, as 45 sinkholes appeared suddenly at once in Nepal. This only weeks after 100 did in Philippines, 300 in Israel and several in USA. This phenomena is apocalyptic. November 21, 2013. Residents are in panic after seeing what once was known as the village pond, entirely swallowed up by a sinkhole. Gazing in disbelief, some have said it seems like a scene from a science fiction movie. Others have said it's probably a sign that the end is near. November 14, 2013. Residents of several Florida homes have been evacuated due to an 80-foot wide sinkhole that opened up and swallowed parts of two homes, a swimming pool and a boat. The sinkhole was reportedly 40 feet deep. Sinkholes have recently been popping up across the globe at an alarming rate. On November 2, 100 sinkholes were reported in the Philippines shortly before apocalyptic typhoons ravaged. September the 20th, on alarming 300 sinkholes were reported in Israel's Dead Sea. But a prophecy was posted regarding this. Exodus 15:11 to 12. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Thou stretchedst out thy right hand, the earth swallowed. Prophecy, August the 22nd, 2013. In a dream the hands of a man is outstretched to what appears like the USA. People including children are sucked in and swallowed up in what appears like thick mud or quicksand. Some are pulled out. Others cannot be found. Interpretation, more sinkholes will appear in the USA and other countries shortly, with devastating results.